top, top, busy, the bear king of the motherfucking state, man. Part life, Carolina in the building. You know I'm getting my dribble on with Gully TV Live. Huh? Word. That's crazy. Five joints back to back. What was the first song by him that you got down with? Gummo, the first joint. Yeah? Yeah, I heard Gummo, the first joint. And after that, I started I started losing them because they like starting to sound like, you know what I'm saying? Like the same yeah. type of shit, energy and... And the same shit, so I started losing, like, you know what I'm saying, which is which, because they all got crazy-ass names. Right. So it ain't like, you could be like, oh, that's the, uh, with the gang bang, oh, that's the gang bang song. You can't say that. You right. Know what I mean? You gotta be like, what's the name of it? Rondo? Shit ain't that, ain't got shit to do with the song, so I don't really be knowing which one, but I remember Gummo when it hit, because that did shit you, was crazy. Did you catch his interview on The Breakfast Club? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. they shit, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I caught parts of it. It was pretty, he had his shit together. Nah, yeah, he was on point, um... He took control of the interview. You right. You know what I'm saying? He took control over vets. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that do the interview thing. Yeah. So, and he took control. He was he was not letting Charlemagne get a motherfucking word in. Right. Know? He handled that. Why don't you uh, grab this trophy right here and show me that? This is going to be a first of its kind on my show. Oh, yeah, man. It's a little dusty, man. But, you know what I'm saying? It's the uh, season three champion, UFF 106 and Park Ultimate Freestyle Friday joint. You know, um, you know, presented the T top, and that's engraved right there. That ain't, right. That ain't all, uh, you know, little sticker. That's engraved right there. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. For those who don't um, know who this is, go ahead and state your name, gangster. I kind of like strolled off into the interview right, organically. You are, you are. T top, top busy, the bear king of the state. I represent Carolina. I'm um, an artist from North Carolina. I also do battle rap. And I get trophies and shit. Right. <laughs> so before before battle rap, you was doing music. Or you was battling first. Um. Now I started off doing music. Um. Like I never left music alone. I, I could never leave music alone. It's like my first love. Right. But um, it was just like at the time where I was going into it, and it's still like that now. But um, at the time when I was coming through it, it was like the time where everybody wanted to be a rapper. You okay, know what I'm I saying? think like, everybody still want to be a rapper. Yeah, like it's it's definitely like that. But I'm like, when you remember when the wave first hit? Like, all right, everybody's doing it now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, I was coming in that wave, and like the um, you know, I come from the south. I'm from Carolina, so it ain't really that many avenues to get on out right. there. You know what I'm saying? So one thing I was nice at was getting on motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm -hmm. So we used to do that shit. And you got you got your raps. He got his raps. Same way they did in New York and Philly. You know what I mean, everybody get together. You know what I mean. Go to this nigga hood, this nigga hood, this nigga hood, and right. just see who the nicest. Give it up, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. See who the nicest. Whether it was on the block, on the street corners, at the football games, at lunch, cafe, whatever. You know what I mean? Right. Like that's just what it was and shit. So um, I started seeing well, and everybody around me started seeing that I was more a star in that lane, like. Right. Like, all right, niggas ain't fucking with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I had big dope boys. I'm I'm a young boy. I had big dope boys putting up money for me and all types right. of shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it was cool at the time. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, but still, battle rap wasn't big. It right. wasn't it wasn't a big sport at the time. URL wasn't even out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't it wasn't big. Like, you might have had some lion lions den joints and shit like that, but yeah. it wasn't like real big yet. So I was nice in Carolina, but it, it really, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in my mind. I'm still like, nah, I gotta focus on this music shit, right? Because battle rapping is cool for for around here, but it ain't nowhere that's really blowing up off battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, even the New York niggas was was doing their thing at the time, but at the time it wasn't like it wasn't as exciting as it was before, and it wasn't as big as it is now. It right. was like in that middle wave. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just um. I always kept doing the music shit, but I just started doing that more and more, and then I, I got on the radio with it. So that's really how I got the exposure with the battle. How did you land on the radio? Um, being young and hot, um, I was a hot head, man. So I was working on a mixtape, actually, and um, my, my man that was producing the tape, he was making all the beats for my tape. He um he was making a beat for another artist tape from Carolina. Right. And an artist was the champion on the fucking radio station and shit. Okay. So while I'm in there, he like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just on some regular shit like, yeah, you know, we got to be done in a couple hours and shit. Because I got another session with a uh, nigga named with Madison. So I got another session with Madison tonight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Before he go on the radio and do his battle. I'm like, nigga, you about to cut my session short because you got to go fuck. You know what I mean? What the right. type of shit you want? I said, this nigga on the radio battling? I said, 
I smoked that nigga, boy. I called the radio that night. Right. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I swept him out of there. He was on like his ninth week. Right. I went for uh, um, 50, 50, 57 weeks straight. That's over a year straight. The champion in right. North Carolina on the radio. Right. From that one phone call. You know what I'm saying? So, and that just took me to another level in the South and in Carolina and, and just made me big in that way. You right. know what I'm saying? So, then at the time, while I'm doing that, I was doing that for like a year. Yeah, some change. URL come out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So once URL came out and niggas already where I'm at is battling and you start seeing other small leagues pop up. Right. So we had a league in North Carolina called RBC where we did battles, you know what I'm saying? And in hopes to get up there on URL, you know what I'm saying? Because that was the biggest platform. So did you go through the Proving Grounds? Yeah, I did one. Who'd you have? City Towers. You'll never hear of them again. <laughs> Dead on arrival. <laughs> my PG, because it was like, when I did my PG, I really had something to prove. Nowadays, a PG is cool, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It, ain't, it don't mean the same. When right. I did my PG, like it was like everything on the line. It was like, he going to make it or I'm going to make it. You know what I'm right. saying? So, I went in there with that shit, man. That killer move, killer mentality. You just spoke of the dope boys and the hustlers around, you know, influence and shit. Early on, a lot of people were saying that that was primarily all your content yeah. um, consisted of. That's all I knew. Now, you done kind of got your dribble together and you're a little bit more technical with it. Could you explain the, the growth? Um, was it the criticism? I know you heard it. Yeah, I mean, it really wasn't the too much criticism that that got me and shit it was more like um i was starting i was experiencing different shit you know what i'm saying like i'm going around you know what i'm saying going around the country these different states and shit i'm not just on my block with a bunch of dope boys and you know right. what i'm saying pocket would work and that that's not the only content i could think of no more you know what i'm saying right so because i like to i like to keep my reality in my raps because i like to connect with the people you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't want to hear my gun so big. It gotta, you gotta pull the trigger like. You know, niggas don't want to. That's imaginary shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, and, I, and I ain't really with that type shit. So, I just had to find a way to um stay true to myself and just elevate my style so I could uh, gain more fans. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of fans, they don't want to hear the street shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get the street niggas all day. The niggas that come from that, the struggle, the hardships of life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, racism. I'm from the South, so I speak on that in my bars. You know, a lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'ma get them people, but I wanna also get the people that that don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause it's them people too. You feel me? What's so, What's the name of this video we about to upload to the channel? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. I got money. What you asking? 50k up in the mat. Yeah, you know I man. Right, right. <laughs> that shit. You hear me? Tell them where you premiering that that joint at. Gully TV, man. Stop playing, man. We putting that joint up tonight. Tonight, no yeah. doubt. Give me um some um prospects like you said. Uh, your 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 rhyme style has started to change and shit. Mm -hmm. Once once you got new experiences, you know, new venue, new menu. Who's next? Who's next? Um. Um. I'm liking the kid Loso from Bullpen. He's from Florida. Right. He's from the um, Bullpen lead, John John Lee. Shout out Bullpen. Um, he a Christian rapper. Now I actually battled a Christian rapper before. You know, um, that's how I got you know my trophy or whatever. Um, I battled a Christian rapper on UFF, and and it was like at the time it was like one of the biggest battles in the culture because one they had never seen a Christian battle rapper. Right. Two, they never seen a nigga go at a Christian period the way I went at him. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, now now we got more Christian battle rappers and shit, so you see their opponents use the same type of angles. But before I did it, it wasn't done. You know right. what I'm saying? First of all, shout out to Saga, because he the first Christian battle rapper. That wasn't heard of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as, now I'm not saying what your religion is, but as far as you promoting that, like, yeah, I'm the Christian battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? Right. That wasn't heard of, so... You know what I'm saying? Back yeah, that then. was new that he came like Yeah, that, that. was new because no, like nobody knows your you know what I mean, your religion unless you put it out there. Yeah. But for him, he wanted to be portrayed as the Christian battle rapper. No so doubt. now you got a whole line of Christian battle rappers. You got A War, you got Loso, the dude I'm talking about now. Right. You got a couple more, you know what I'm saying? So with this one right here, like and Loso is, is damn good. You know, I respect his work, his content, you know, um, 
But, you know, it's just some shit we gotta talk about. Right. We just gotta talk about it, man. Cause, um, and I don't want niggas to think I'm gonna go at it the same way I went at Saga, cause now they in the clip together. Now they got a whole motherfucking Christian battle rap organization. <laughs> 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 the, the motherfuckers got a goddamn army of Christian battle rappers now, you feel me? But Loso definitely stand out, man. And um, I like the way he deliver his context. You know what I'm saying? You could just come up there and preach, but you gotta be slick with it. Yeah. And he slick with it. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely give him a shot this year sometime and um, see what he could do on a. Um, with a higher level of competition. Speaking of being slick, I seen you destroy one of the slickest battle rappers out. Talk about surf. It. Yeah. Tell me what that was like, my nigga. Like, um, that's my opinion, Surf. If you got a problem with it, come on, holla at the dribble, my nigga. You know what I'm saying, man. But, uh, Shout out Surf, man. He just no doubt. Home. Welcome home, too. Yeah, but um, Surf, you know, Surf is one of them names in battle rap. Um, you know, for whatever whatever reasons, you know, he um, for the new generation. For he he's like he's like one of them niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's probably like a a good five ten of them niggas where you like, all right, this is certified. They legends. They Kobe. doing. They doing. Kobe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So he one of them niggas, man. So that um the battle definitely meant a lot at the moment. You know what I'm saying? I definitely wanted to take him out and get him out of there. I know he um. Did it do something for you? Did that battle do something for you? Did it open some yeah. doors? Did it give you leverage? I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely did. Especially when I won the battle, you know, it, it gave you leverage for the future. And and to date, I think it's my biggest view battle. You know, what I'm saying right. like two point something million. So yeah, that's 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 one of the standout battles I've yeah, seen in recent so, time. Like um, that battle definitely did what it was supposed to do. You know, what I'm saying right. as long as I came in and delivered and and he did what he did, then it definitely did what it was supposed to do, man. It got me um. You know, just better opportunities and shit like that. No doubt. We, um, you know, my platform cover, covers hip hop, sports, and fashion, mm -hmm. and I briefly asked you some questions about some sports. You told me you did, you had an encounter and developed a relationship with Julio Jones at Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, shout so out to talk about it. Man, that's big, bro. Um, you know, um, a lot of niggas, you know, a lot of niggas in his position, they really ain't gotta reach out to niggas like me. You know what I'm right. saying? Or, or even let me know that they fuck with my shit. They could just watch it and, and just watch it. You know right. what I'm saying? But, um, you know, anyway, he, he reached out and shit. And, um, and he just let me know that he fuck with my shit. And um, and he wanted me to come check him out in Atlanta. You know, if I was ever in the area, come fuck with him. But he ain't know that I've lived in Atlanta now because I moved to Atlanta. Right. So he ain't know that I lived down here. So as soon as I sent the email, I said, oh, shit, Julio. <laughs> I'm in Atlanta now. So damn, the nigga was like, yo, come fuck with me tonight, you know what I mean? We're gonna go out, have my boy Briz with me and shit, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Briz, Dark Side, Rostein. Right. Um, I had my boy Briz with me, so I'm like, I am with Briz with me. And he's like, oh, you with Briz? You got Briz too? All right, that's what's up. So boom, me and Briz went to go check him out. Nigga took us to um, Quality Control Studio, had us in there with Yachty and Amigos and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just chilling out and we playing our music and that shit. We're just good vibes, man. Took us to the strip clubs and, you know what I'm saying? Because that was when I first came, moved down here and shit. So right. I really wasn't, I ain't know where the strip clubs was at. This nigga took us like three strip clubs, two nights in a row. We went to six strip clubs in two days. <laughs> No I said, what the fuck is we doing? Yeah, that's that. that that's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's clearly levels. Shit was love, it's, man. It's levels. Shit was love, man. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We be, I be, now I be kicking it at my boy Mont Crib, which is like his brother. You know what I'm saying? The boy, um, I be chilling at his restaurant. And um, he got a car wash and restaurant down here in Atlanta and shit. Nice spot. Plush spot, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? All the celebrities be there gambling and, and eating and shit. You know what I'm right. saying? It's just, it's just love down here now. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely... Probably my best encounter with um a pro athlete, you know what I'm saying? A pro athlete. That was my best encounter by far. No doubt. And I was chilling with um in a strip club with AI. Shit, we was a VIP. Right. And I had on my AIs and he was digging it. Oh yeah. I didn't know I was gonna see him. I just had him on. <laughs> no fucking doubt. No doubt I ran into him in Vegas. He actually ain't a ain't a little dude. He kinda tall and shit. Yeah, I thought he was you know what I mean, but yeah. nah, AI. That nigga tall and shit. That nigga be in them clubs with that money. You right. hear me? I said, oh, this nigga ain't nowhere near, bro. Yeah, this nah, nigga in here him. with it. They got him fucked up. With it. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, um, 
Shout out AI, shout out Julio, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I even had Vince Carter reach out to me and just tell me that he um it's love crazy. what I'm doing at um It's crazy. Yeah, that's the guy, you know what I'm saying? Half so, man, half amazing. Yeah, so I had him reach out to me and just tell me keep doing my thing and, and don't switch up my content. Because as 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 you see the fans saying, yo, switch it up. Yeah. We wanna see more of this, more right. of that, more of this. Right. Everybody else see it too, you know what I'm saying? So he was just one of them niggas that was like, yo, just don't change up. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to elevate, wrong. you're going to elevate. That's, that's what you're going to do. But, yo, just stay you and stay true to you. So that's why even when I try to do other shit like scheme or or I might punch more in a battle, you right. know, I always going to stay true to myself and bring that street element, that reality into the battles. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it got me this far. Let me take you back to the Smack DVD era when we was only watching like Come about on. five, six battle rappers. Come on. Who, who 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 was some of your favorites back then? Shit, I like the Forty Cow from Dipset. It's my nigga. It's my I like, nigga. I like um. You know him? Nah, I never met him. Okay. Never met. Him. Did I meet Forty at, at a Smack event? I can't remember. It seemed like I seen Forty at a Smack event. Now that you say that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man. But so I'm gonna say nah, I never met him. But damn, right. if I met him, that's fucked up because he he was one of my favorites. Right. Um, Forty Cow, Sam Scarfo. It's another one of my niggas. <sighs> That nigga was cold, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that, that nigga them, wild, them wild. niggas, them niggas was going at each other and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's the battle. Fight I think, club. I think that's the battle where they were going at each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what they known said, for. Um, I, I, I sold a fiend so much dope that nigga finished four five lighters. four lighters. Yeah, <laughs> four lighters in a night. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. Sam so, Scar. Yeah, I that's always my remember dude. shit like that stick out. Shout out to Jersey. Yeah, shout out Jersey, man. So um, like Sam Scar for Forty Cal, back in that era. Um, even um. God bless the dead party yardy. I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, say that. like, yeah. God bless the dead party yardy. Yeah. Mook was definitely around, but Rex, Rex was one of them niggas back yeah, then. Rex like, was Rex, the was, back Rex was probably that nigga. He you was know what I'm saying? Before Mook was that nigga. He was. Rex he was, was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I knew that all the way down here. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. know that. We, we was in tune. You they know, what know what that. Like, that's common knowledge in Harlem. He, yeah. was, he was the little dude that they would bring to the. Bring me your blog, bring me yeah, your fuck projects. Everybody up, right? Yeah, they were sick him on you and shit. Yeah, like so like those are dudes like we was watching. Um, and yeah, those those are like the niggas we was watching down here. You know, we used to watch Mills a little bit, when you know what I'm saying Mook and shit like that. But I was I really when I started coming up off battle rap when I really started fucking with the craft, mm -hmm. I was really more fucking with the Philly movement than the New York movement. Like who?